Hi friends, welcome back to new session. In this session, in DC motors, we'll start speed control of DC motors topic. Okay, yeah, we know n proportional to E B by pi relation. Already we had seen, uh, I think, uh, last sessions I had seen n proportional to E B by pi relation. Everybody knows that. And uh, let me take example shunt motor. In shunt motor, you know, V equals to formula E B plus uh, I A R A, right? So from this, if you want dB value, I can write V minus IA RA. So please, in place of EB, let me write here V minus IA RA by pi. So here, try to see if you want to control the speed of uh, DC motor, that can be possible by controlling flux. So by controlling flux, I can control the speed of uh, uh, DC motor. Therefore, first one can be called as a field or flux control method, and if you want to control the speed of DC motor, so that can be controlled by controlling armature resistance. So that means by adding some uh, extra resistance value to this armature, uh, uh, armature, so I can control the speed of uh, DC motor. Therefore, by controlling this RA armature resistance, I control this speed of uh, DC motor. So second one can be taken as I mean armature resistance control method, and third one, if you want to control the speed of DC motor, that can be controlled by controlling your uh, armature voltage of DC motor. So, so I thought one, it can take it as armature voltage control method. Okay. Now let us see one by one. In this uh, video, I'll be discussing field or uh, flux control method. Field or flux control method. Uh, that too for D shunt motor. After seeing a uh, uh, field or flux control method for D shunt motor, I'll see field or flux control method for D series motor also. See, generally, you know, D shunt motor means uh, will uh, stay, it's a, it is a constant flux machine because ISH equals to V by ISH equals what? So, what is the voltage applied across this uh, uh, branch? I can say V value, right? So, V by RSS, right? So, as long as supply voltage is constant, I can write uh, ISH is constant. That's why D shunt motor can be called as the constant flux machine. But here, you should not call uh, D shunt motor as constant flux machine in this method. Because that method name itself field or flux control method. That means we are changing of flux. We are changing flux of a D shunt motor by connecting a variable relations Rx. Okay, please try to see here. I just got some variable relations Rx here. Since I connected variable relations, I am just varying this Rx value. So the shunt current will be varying. So flux also will be varying. So please don't take flux as constant in uh, field or flux control method because the method name itself field or flux control method we are controlling flux here. So general let me take shunt motor shunt motor diagram like this. So supply I mean uh, applied DC voltage is V value. So IA is nothing but line current. It will divide as ISH and uh, IA shunt field current and RH current. So I told you I just had some variable relations Rx okay to control uh, to uh, control the flux. You know, n proposed EB by relation. In this EB, I, as I told you, in place of EB, I can write uh, V minus IARA by pi. So here my question is, I am adding some RX value here. Suppose, as REX is added, as uh, acceleration is added, what will happen to field current? What will happen to shunt field current? IH will reduce, no? Yes or no? Whenever Rx is added here, so IS will reduce. Whenever ISH will reduce, what will happen to flux will uh, reduce? Whenever flux is reducing here, from this relation, what will happen to speed will be increasing. So speed is increasing. So what is the conclusion here? In field or flux control method, that too for shunt motor, we are getting here above rated speeds. Above rated speeds we are getting here. And one more thing, try to see as the rx is added as rx is added i told you that uh, ish current is reducing okay is current is reducing and because of the shunt flux shunt current is reducing shunt flux uh, pi also will be reducing here so you know relation t proportion pi into ia whenever pi is reducing what will happen to torque torque is reducing torque is reducing okay so guys try to understand whenever rx is added i said n is increasing at the same time as r is added i am saying that uh, torque is reducing that means c in the flux or field control method what is the relation between n and t as r is added means n is increasing here torque is reducing so n proportion to 1 by t yes second right here n proportion to 1 by t that means n t equal to constant n t equal to i can take it as constant n t equal to constant okay 
So you know what is the mechanical power developed in a DC shunt motor formula means 2 pi nt by 60. Whenever nt is constant, I took nt as constant here. Whenever nt is constant, mechanical power also let me take it as a constant here. So, okay. So try to understand in field or flux control method, okay, motor behaves as what? Since mechanical power is constant, it is acting as constant power, constant power, variable torque. Why I am saying variable torque here? See, as Alex added, what will happen to torque here? Torque is reducing, you know, torque is reducing. That too, whenever N is increasing, torque is reducing. So, it is a variable torque. So, machine acts as, motor acts as, motor behaves as constant torque, comma, variable torque, sorry, constant power, comma, variable torque drive. Try to understand? In field or flux control method, motor behaves as constant power comma variable torque drive. Okay, so this is also a very important point you have to remember. And for problems, for, for problematic point of view, you have to remember one relation n proportional EB by pi. You know, n2 by n1 means what? EB2 by EB1 into I can say pi1 by pi2, pi s h1 by pi2. Pi SH1 is corresponding to ISH1 current, that means before adding this Rx, okay. And Pi SH2 is corresponding to ISH2, that is after adding this Rx, okay. So, guys, try to understand N2 N1 equals to EB2 by EB1 into, I can say, Pi SH1 by Pi SH2, or I can say ISH1 by ISH2, okay. And let me take our y axis uh, power, comma, torque, and x axis, let me take uh, speed here, speed. So, initially let us assume that uh, your motor is running at radiated speed. So, let me take radiated speed here. So, here I am saying that in a flux control method, as Rx they added, flux is reducing here, n is increasing here, you are getting upper rate speeds. So, n, if I take n rate value here, so to the right hand side of this n rated, you will get a I mean, greater than n rated, and to the left hand side of this n rated, I can say less than n rated. Okay. So, I am saying that in machine, uh, we are getting upper rate speeds here. So, above its means means uh, here, this is the radiated speed here, above its means this area, okay, here we are, uh, your motor is, uh, I mean, uh, behaving, just right, you see, your motor is acting in this, in this region here, so as I told you, it is acting as constant power, so, I mean, with respect, to, I mean, irrespective of your speed, it is uh, acting as constant power means, let me take power as almost all constant here, and variable torque, that too I told you, n proportional to 1 by 2 here, see, I'll, let me use laser point here. N proportional to 1 by 10. As N increases, torque will reduce in a rectangle hyperbola. So, it is a variation which is nothing but just like a rectangle hyperbola. As N increases, your torque is reducing. Okay, guys. So, try to understand your I mean, uh, motor acts as constant power comma variable torque. That too, as N increases, torque is reducing in a rectangle hyperbola fashion because N proportion 1 by T is a relation. So, right. This is the conclusion. And one more thing, so here let me discuss some points regarding field or flux control method. In field or flux control method, flux cannot be controlled above rated value because of the following reasons. Okay. So try to understand. So why flux cannot be controlled, uh, I mean, uh, above rated value means, you know, a flux control above rated value means, tell me uh, more flux means indirect, there is nothing but uh, saturation portion, no saturation portion. So, there I, I already, you already know that in saturation region, uh, your graph will be non-linear, okay. So, in field of flux control method, flux cannot be controlled above rate value because of the following reasons. Number one, I can say non-linear control, saturation concept and saturation concept, one more problem is there. You tell me guys, <coughs> if you want, I mean, uh, if you want to control flux at above rate value means, so obviously, what will happen, to, uh, what is the requirement of your ISH also, ISH also should be more, no, if ISH value is more, what will happen to your field copper losses will be more. So more field copper losses, that's why, uh, so flux cannot be controlled upper rate value. And fourth point, whenever, you have, if you are controlling uh, flux upper rate value means, you know iron losses. I mean, uh, iron loss means it's a sum, it's a sum of uh, HCC losses and AD current losses. Those losses depends on, I can say, flux. If you want, I can uh, write that formula also. So, let me uh, write uh, WI means the sum of, I guess, WH and WE. So, WH formula, what I said, eta V max power X into F into V. And uh, what about WE? K B max square 
f square t square into volume of the core okay so here b max means once again it is depending on the flux density uh, flux density is depending on the flux no flux density means flux by area so i am saying ultimately it is depending on flux suppose if flux is the controlled upward value if uh, flux is we are if more flux we are getting so obviously you will be having more iron losses okay if iron losses are more efficiency will be less so that's the reason why flux cannot be got upward upward value because of the nonlinear control of uh, uh, nonlinear control operation and a saturation problem and uh, flux above value means uh, shunt kind of I mean, your shunt field control should be more so more field copper losses more iron losses here and it reduces the reduction in efficiency so that is okay and some people make it one more thing one more doubt what is that here i am adding rex value because of adding rex value your shunt field current is reducing flux is reducing so you are getting above its speeds suppose some people may think like this suppose if i need sir I, let me have i mean let me have a, a very large uh, very large speed that means if you want more speed if you want more speed you have to reduce flux you have to reduce flux a lot suppose that means if we are by adding a very large amount of uh, rios i mean rex value is such will reduce a lot flux will reduce a lot n will be increasing a lot but that is not uh, i mean uh, just uh, that is not i can say uh, i mean uh, that is not acceptable what is the reason very simple suppose if you reduce the flux very by if you reduce the flux by large amount if you reduce the flux by large amount that means so if you are reducing flux by large amount means your main flux is reducing your field flux can be called as what i can say main flux right you whenever your flux is in, your flux is reducing a lot that means your main flux is reducing a lot means there will lot there will be lot of chances for having more armature reaction effect because effect of armature flux on main flux is called armature reaction you know the effect of armature flux on main flux is called armature reaction if main flux strength is reducing here so if you are reducing main flux a lot so if main flux the strength is reducing so effect of armature flux and main flux armature reaction effect will be more that is not desirable right that's why you should not reduce flux uh, very large you should not flux you should not reduce flux by very large amount uh, so that that's what i had given here flux cannot be flux cannot be reduced below a particular value up to one particular value only you have to reduce you should not reduce the below a particular value because of more arm because of more effect of armature reaction which leads to poor commutation i think already seen uh, an armature reaction whenever because of armature reaction you are going to have two effects one is a demagnetizing effect and number two is the cross magnetic effect because of cross magnetic effect you are going to have poor commutation or against the delayed commutation sparking at the pressures which are undesirable so please don't reduce flux uh, to i mean below a particular value so if you reduce the uh, main flux below a particular value effect of armature reaction will be more which leads to poor commutation okay guys this is about i can say flux or field control method for decent motor suppose let me take same method uh, for d series motor so i'm i'm explaining once again same field or flux control method only but for d series motor in a d series motor field or flux can be controlled by uh, three ways number one field diverter control method number two tapped field control method number three series and parallel connection of a field winding okay so these are the three ways how can you how we can uh, control the flux or field in a dc series motor so these three also comes under uh, field or flux control method only let me take one by one first of all field or uh, field diverter control method i take field diverter control method so i'm saying for uh, dc series motor no so it's nothing but series having the series field winding rsc plus minus uh, dc source il value so guys if there is no field diverter reactions rd here so il and isc will be same but here so let us see first of all let me don't connect this uh, diverter reactions for some time without diverter reactions we'll discuss after that we'll go for uh, diverter reactions yeah without diverter reactions uh, you tell me isc one so current flowing through series field winding before diverter reactions isc one let me take it as uh, ia do you agree or not yes or no see isc il isc ia everything same only yes or no guys suppose with the diverter reactions whatever isc2 isc2 means uh, let me connect some diverter reactions here so let me uh, let me connect now diverter reactions let me connect now diverter reactions here okay yes 
Now, after connecting divert reactions, let us discuss. Let us discuss what is the value of your ISC 2. Okay, ISC 2. So, here one thing you have to remember, guys. What is that? So, before uh, connecting a divert reactions, current flowing through series field winding is, uh, I can say, IA. ISC 1 is IA. And whatever R max spend means, I can say IA. So, after connecting the divert reactions, though IL is coming like this, it is dividing as ID and ISC. Once again, it is, it is summing uh, and it is coming as the IA only once again. That means, I mean to say only one thing. With divert reactions or without divert reactions, I can say your RMH current IA1 and IA2 will be equal to IA only. Do you agree or not? See, without, without divert reactions, IA1, IA. With the divert reactions means, so though current is dividing here, once again it will, it will uh, add and it, it will, uh, it will uh, come as, uh, it will come as IA only once again. So, IA1, IA2 is equal to IA only here, okay? So, total current nothing but I can take it as IA. Without divert reactions or with divert reactions also, you are, uh, if you want to find the formula for ISC2, current flowing the series wheel winding, you know current repeater formula means total current, total means let me take it IA, total current into opposite resistance, means what I am just finding current flowing the series wheel winding, opposite resistance means I can say divert reactions RD by Sum of the reactions means I can take it as RSC plus RD. I apply it only simply, uh, you, know, you know, the current divider formula here. So, ISC2 equals to IA into, I can say RD by RSC plus RD. And guys, please try to tell me, RD by RSC plus RD means, this value is less than 1. Do you agree or not? Yes, obviously, because denominator is RD. Denominator is to this RD, I am adding RSC, you know. So, definitely, this value will be less than 1. Whenever uh, this value is less than 1, your ISC2 will be what? I can say less than IA. IA into less than 1. No, it will get less than IA only. But ISC1 is IA. So, guys, I can write ISC2 is less than IA, but ISC1 is IA. So, ISC2 is less than ISC1. Is it okay? That means, uh, I mean, uh, after connecting divert reactions, current flowing through field winding is uh, reducing. So, what will happen to flux? Pi ISC2 is less than Pi ISC1. And N2, you know already N proposed should be pi. When a flux is reducing, what will happen to speed will be increasing. N2 is greater than N1. So please tell me, so please tell me, you are having upper space or below speeds. So after connecting uh, divert reactions, your N2 is greater than N1. So that is above rated speeds are obtained here. And I already given note here. So without divert reactions or with divert reactions, your IA1, IA2 will be equal to IA only. IA1 equals IA2 equals IA only. And if you want me to write a relation for a problematic point of view, N2 N1 equals to I can write here EB2 by EB1 into pi1. I can write pi SC1 by pi SC2. Okay. Into n1 equals eb2 by eb1 into pi sc1 by pi sc2. Pi sc1 is depending on uh, isc1. Pi sc2 is depending on isc2. And I already given formula for isc1 means ia only. isc2 means I had given ia into rd by rd by rsc plus rd. Okay. So please remember this formula also will be useful for solving some problems. And uh, he, uh, just don't forget one thing here. Your IA1 and IA2 will be equals to IA only, okay, in this field diverter control method, okay. This is about field diverter control method for D-series motor. Yeah, with this field diverter control method comes under uh, flux or field control method only. So, let me go for tapped field control method, yes, tapped field, tapped field control method. Uh, once again, this, it comes under uh, field or flux control method only, but for, uh, I can say, D-series motor. So, I take a series motor like this, plus minus. So guys, initially it is at uh, position number 1. So position number 1, let me take it as rated condition, rated uh, position, you can say rated condition, you can say rated condition. And what I am doing here, slowly I am just changing tappings from position number 1 to position number 2, I will go from uh, next, I will go to position number 3, next I will go to position number 4. Also guys, clearly at position number 1, number of turns are more. At position number 2, number of turns are uh, reducing. At position number 3, number of turns are still reducing. At position number 4, number of turns are still reducing. Okay, this is very simple logic here. So, here let me take a small n. I am just indicating for number of turns. And a capital N, I am indicating for speed. Let us see. At position number 1, number of uh, turns, I will take it as n1, small n1. Speed, I will take it as n1. Nothing but it is nothing but rated speed. Rated speed. Now, under MMF, number of uh, 
turns into current now let me take as mmf1 position number one mmf is mmf1 i'm calling it as similarly position number two position number three position number four i'm just taking number of turns so at position number two n2 speed i took I, I took it as the n2 mmf i took it as the mmf2 similarly position number three number of turns is n3 speed is the n3 mmf is mmf3 Position number 4, number of turns are N4, speed uh, N4, MMF equals MMF4. Now tell me guys, what about relation this one? So at position number 1, number of turns are N1. At position number 2, number of turns are N2. So you know, in se at second position, when compared with the first position, number of turns are reducing, no? Yes, N1 is more than N2, N2 is more than N3, N3 is more than N4, that's it. And MMF, so if, it, if red color is not visible to you, Please try to write here MMF1, MMF2, MMF3, MMF4. Okay. Right. Remember, I mean, MMF is the MMF because what is the formula? Number of turns into current? No. So please, here MMF is mainly depending on number of turns. If number of turns are more at question number one, MMF1 is more than MMF2 is more than MMF3 is more than MMF4. Now please tell me guys, n proportional to eb by pi, I'll write approximately this one as n proportional to 1 by pi, 1 by flux proportional to mmf, <coughs> because you know flux is equal to mmf reluctance, no? So I can write uh, in place of flux simply I can write mmf. So guys, n proportional to 1 by mmf is relation, so now please tell me, uh, in the, in the, there is inverse relation between number of, uh, sorry, uh, and, and speed and uh, mmf. If mmf is more at question number 1, Speed is less. Next, uh, this is greater than symbol. Greater than symbol. I'll, I'll go for uh, less than symbol. Okay. N1 is less than, N2 less than, N3 less than, N4. That is the rated speed, right? N1 I took it as rated condition. Now N2 you are getting more than rated speeds. N3 somewhat more. N3 N4 somewhat more. That means we are getting here above rated speeds. Are getting here. Above rated speeds are getting. Above rated speeds. Above rated speeds are obtained here. Okay. Above rated speeds are obtained in this case. Okay. Right now, let me go for uh, one more. I told you field diverter control method completed, tab field control method completed. Now, so let me go for series and parallel correction of field windings. Once again, for this, this is motor only. This method also comes under a uh, field and flux control method only. Once again, a yes, series and parallel correction of field winding. Okay, see, it's very simple. Uh, whatever uh, field series field winding is there, RSC having number of plus NSC. I just made this series field winding into two sections. Initially, I just connected uh, this uh, wind number, this series field winding, series field winding having number of turns NSC. I just connected, I just made two sections, NSC by two, NSC by two. Initially, I connected those uh, two sections in series, NSC deep, NSC by two, NSC by two. I connected in series. Next, in second case, I connected a uh, NSC by two, NSC by two in a parallel. So, guys, I understand only one motor here. Okay, only one water. Initially, this uh, NSC turns, I just made it to two sections, NSC by two, NSC by two, I just connected in series combination. And uh, in the second case, NSC by two, NSC by two, I connected in a parallel combination, that's it, okay? And you know everybody, RH kind of ticket is IA value here. Here, initially, since they are in series uh, connection, your NSC by two, NSC by two, series connection. So, through this NSC by two, IA is second flowing, through this NSC by two, IA is second flowing. And if you take parallel combination, this total kind of ticket is IA, so it is uh, see in a both case in a series case also and parallel connection also i took rmh current as ia only see ia ia same only so ia is coming here it is dividing as ia by 2 ia by 2 once again ia by 2 ia by 2 will add up it will come as ia once again okay guys now please try to understand you know n proportional to eb by pi so n proportional 1 by pi so you know flux is because of mmf MMF can also be called as the ampere turns. MMF means number of turns to current. Ampere turns means also name is C. MMF means what I said, uh, number of turns into current. Ampere turns means what? Current into turns only, you know, once again. So same. So MMF or ampere turns, everything is same only. You know, flux is because of MMF. So MM, in place of MMF, I can write simply ampere turns here, okay? Ampere turns I wrote here. So guys, NP by NSC means what parallel, whenever uh, this NSC by 2, NSC by 2 are in parallel combination, NP by, NSC means what, NSC by 2, NSC by 2, they are in series, NP by NSC is equals to ampere in series by ampere in parallel. Similarly, T proportional to pi into IA relation, and why I took IA value constant here, try to understand guys, 
if these two sections nscp to nscp to connect series or nscp to nscp connect parallel your uh, armh current is ia only same only do you agree or not yes ia is constant so t proportion to pi pi proportion to mmf mmf nothing but ampere turns i can write here t sc by tp equals to ampere turns series by ampere turns parallel so here ultimately what you have to do here you have to find the ampere turns series by ampere turns parallel then you'll get NP by NSA value. If you find out Ampetan series by Ampetan's parallel, you'll get TSC by TP. Okay. So now we have to find Ampetan series Ampetan's parallel. Let us see first of all if these two NSC by two NSA by two are in series. Uh, let me calculate Ampetan's. Ampere means first of all IA is a current flowing through flowing through this NSC by two. IA into turns means NSC by two here plus. And what about current flowing through this section? I can say once again IA into once again here number of NSC by 2. So IA into NSC by 2 plus IA into NSC by 2 will get uh, NSC IA. This is what I can say ampere turn series value NSC IA. Next, if you want ampere turn parallel, so ampere means what IA by 2 here. Turns means what NSC by 2. IA by 2 into NSC by 2 plus what about here IA by 2 plus NSC by 2. IA by 2 plus NSC by 2. Okay. So I'll get NSC IA by 4 plus NSC IA by 4. We'll get NSC IA by 2. Okay. So I think you know how to calculate the ampere turn series and ampere turn parallel here. Now, simply here I told you NP by NSC is equal to ampere turn series by ampere turn parallel. Ampere turn series means NSC IA, yes, NSC IA by by ampere turn parallel means NSC IA by 2, NSC IA by 2. You'll get uh, 2. Therefore, NP by NSC is equals to, you are getting 2 by 1 or I can say, or NP is to NSC is equals to, what you are getting, 2 is to 1 you are getting. Next guys, so T proportionally ampere you are getting here, TSC by TP means ampere series by ampere turns parallel, I said, ampere series, NSC IA, yes, if you want I can write here, so why, how I am getting this 2 means, so let me write here, ampere series means what I can say, NSC IA by Ampedance power means what's up once again NSC IA by 2. You got how much? 2. That 2 only I wrote here. Therefore, guys, TSC is to TP is equals to 2 is to 1. Try to understand here NP NP is to NSC means 2 is to 1. Here TSC is to TP equals to 2 is to 1. So don't take away the parallel combination whenever. Uh, field winding sections and parallel is to field winding sections are in a series is equal to is to one. Next, field winding sections are in a series is to field winding sections are parallel. If we, that is the case, torque in a series, the case is to torque in a parallel case is equal to two is to one. Okay, so don't confuse here two. I mean, for speed, for speed's point of view, NP by NSC is two by one. For torque point of view, TSC by TP equals to 2 by 1. Same, okay. So it's very simple thing, try to understand. So regarding uh, this uh, one question was asking to get examination, let me show that question. Yes, this is a question asked in 1997 for 5 months. For I can say 5 months, okay. The field coil of a 2 pole diesel series motor is made up of 2 identical sections like this. If you want, I will show you. 2 identical sections like this, okay. 2 identical sections, okay. Next, uh, in one in one case, in one case, I can say case number one. What he is saying of two sections of the field coil are current in series. So he is saying that in first case deals with the series. That means uh, they connected uh, NSC by two, NSC by two, something like that. Okay, NSC by two, NSC by two, like that. He connected in uh, case one. Next, in another case, I mean, set, I mean, case number two, the two sections are connected in parallel. That means uh, they connect in parallel. Excuse me. Yeah, they connect in parallel here. So you can say second, second, third case, sorry, second case, I can say parallel, parallel, NSC by 2, NSC by 2, they cannot be parallel like this. <laughs> NSC by 2, NSC by 2. Okay. Next, what is asking? If the motor takes the rated current in both the cases, means whenever winding sections are in series, he said the IA1 equals to IA. And the uh, winding is a parallel, so he said IA2 equals to IA only. So this only I take taken here if you want to see. In series case also, IA1 means IA only. Okay, IA only. 
and parent condition also IA2 is also equal to IA1. Okay, so that condition also satisfied here. So now please, yes, if the motor takes red current in both the cases, then what is asking? Then torque in one is to torque in two is dash. Torque in one means what, guys? One means I can say series. So torque in one means TST is to torque in two means TP is asking. So this one is asking next. And speed in one means uh, NSC is to speed in two means NP is equals to what is asking. So please tell me. I think I have told you TST by TP means two. Okay. So TST is to TP equals to I can say two is to one. And uh, I told you guys, NP by NSC means 2 by 1. But it's asking what? NSC by NP. So you'll get answer 1 by 2. Or I can say 1 is to 2. So NP is to NSC means 2 is to 1. Okay. But NSC is to NP means uh, your answer is 1 is to 2. So this is the answer for uh, this question. Very simple question. Okay. So guys, try to understand. In this session, I think uh, we started speed cutter of DC motor. And speed cutter of DC motor also, I mean, we are having three methods. Feel or flux control method. Number two, armature resistance control method. Number three, armature voltage control method. So first I took a field and flux control method. So I applied field and flux control method for uh, DC shunt motor. So we got about eight speeds. And I applied field and flux control method for DC series motor. In DC series motor, if you want to control the field and flux, we are having a three ways. Number one, field diverter method, we explained. Number two, so tap and field control method, we explained. Number three, series and parallel connection of field windings, we explained, okay? So one thing you have to remember in field or flux control method for shunt or as well as for series motor also if you take anyone we are getting above rate speeds we are having above rate speeds and uh, motor acts as constant power comma variable torque drive okay in the next video I will discuss armature resistance control method I'll have, I first of all I'll discuss this method for uh, DC shunt motor then I'll discuss armature resistance control method for uh, this series motor also in the here only in this method only uh, if you do some small modifications so that method will be applicable for this series motor also that I'll discuss then I'll go for armature voltage control method so with that speed control of DC motors will be completed okay right guys so I think uh, for this session this much is enough in the next session we'll see armature resistance control method for shunt and series and uh, armature voltage control method also we'll see okay thank you